we had a message from the curator of the parliamentary art collection saying that they'd been advised by the Minister for Māori Development, Honourable Nanaia Mahuta, that she wanted an assessment done of the room known as Mātangi Reia, previously known as the Māori Affairs Committee Room, or even earlier than that, known as the Native Affairs Committee Room. The room is regarded as one of the works of art of Parliament, which is why the curator is involved. The part of Parliament grounds where this room is, is the Parliament buildings that was only ever half built. So what stood there before was a Parliament building that was lost to fire in 1907. And whenever we see um, Apira Nangata speaking, his, his words in the Hansard, or Tau Reka Reka Henare speaking, they remind the members that um, although we may have a beautiful neoclassical marble building erected, wouldn't it be nice to see our native art, our, our Māori art, expressed in the building as well. Not all select committees had their own room, but because the Native Affairs Committee of the time sat nearly every day, because it received so many um, petitions and considered so much of the work of Parliament, they decided one room would be their permanent room. And so Ngata and Pomare and Henare, they grabbed that opportunity and created another subcommittee focused on <laughs> furnishing or fitting out the Native Affairs Committee room. This room, Matangi Reia, is like a, um, a starting point for this first round of revitalisation that we saw in the 1920s that Apirangata was really the, the spearhead for. It was like a tool in a way that it was created for education purposes to showcase Māori art. It was time for another round of conservation cleaning, a few repairs required to the tukutuku weaving and the panels on the wall. Heritage New Zealand now are looking for somebody to do restoration of tukutuku panels in particular. Well, over the years of polishing and cleaning the Pāua eyes have suddenly got bits of uh, wax, I think it is, on some of them. But it's, it's just giving it a facelift, really. There's not a lot of damage to the carvings. It's just very fine, slow, patient work that's required to, to bring it back to tip-top condition. And if we have to do repairs, then our work goes beside the work of those queer. But that still, to me, is the work of the old people. I'd rather keep their work alive to go and live on another hundred years. We were able to create opportunities for kaitiaki Māori, for people associated with the original carvers of the room to reconnect to the taonga and to have an engagement with the space that isn't just visiting but is actually um, caring for their ancestral taonga. The room is a space for Māori in Parliament, but it's also a space for all Māori and for all New Zealand to understand this aspect of our Māori history.